Trevor Lawrence, where where is he in your estimation, and how do we view his first eleven starts in the NFL right now? How you know, do you every it? every rookie who ends up playing has a different uh, has a different start. We've seen guys start hot. We've seen a ton of guys start a lot worse than Trevor. Really, I mean, when you're the number one pick, you're taking over a team who earned the number one pick, and so you have the roster. Um, you know, a roster that needs to be developed and all that. What, what I look at it, Trevor, is how many, how often are you making the same deci- the same decisions, good ones or bad ones, over and over again? Um, I think there are certain interceptions that every quarterback has to throw to know they can't throw that ball. Meaning, if I've got, a, let's say, a sail route, and I think I can get it over the corner, the, 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 the cornerback, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. I did in college. I'm not sure in the league. Like, you throw that, and that corner picks it off, like, Okay, that registers. I, I can't. That that's not a throw I can make. Or back late across the middle on a naked. Th- there's just those certain throws you got to kind of do it. Coach can tell you not to do it, but you got to do it, feel it to be able to harness that. I don't see Trevor making a lot of the same mistakes twice. I see him being aggressive, pushing the ball down the field, trying to execute this offense quickly. Roster wise, they're going to continue to evolve. This is year one, new staff, new everything. Uh, but I just don't see Trevor making a lot of the same mistakes over and over again, which means I see him progressing. And at no, at no point did the game seem too big or too fast or too hard or too complex. So I, I think he's progressing nicely, and I don't. I think everyone should be patient. Well, the nine losses that uh, they have this year matches the number of losses that Urban had in his entire tenure at Ohio, St- at Ohio State right now. And so he's not used to losing, and neither is Trevor. How, how's, how's he handling Trevor the losses? Trevor was 86, I think it was 86 and four. High school, college combined. Right. So now he's lost twice yeah. the number of games he's ever lost in his entire life in the span of three months. Yeah. How's he handling that? Um, I, I think it's funny. When that ESPN article came out and people talked about, what does he mean he doesn't have to compete against other people? I just think Trevor is very self-confident. He knows what he knows, believes what he believes about himself. Mm-hmm. And what he believes right now, what I believe about him is this is part of your rookie year. you got to learn. Whether you're 12 and 4 or 4 and 12, you got to learn. And so there's so much that can happen over the course of this first year where you can still learn and evolve even though it doesn't show up in stats or doesn't show up in wins or losses. So from my perspective, from across the country watching on TV, I feel like I'm seeing him progress, not make the same mistakes twice, and I don't have any concerns about his confidence moving okay, forward. Okay, it's not of his confidence. What about the scheme around him? What about the staff that's there? I mean, we're talking – you hear stuff out of Jacksonville. Urban uh, brought in some college guys, and there's the pro guys, and there's a lot of – bashing about that and there's your prize prospect sitting right in the middle of all that yeah i think um one of the things that happens and and why you have to be so mature to play quarterback at the nfl level is you have to deal with so many things that people like us can sit around and speculate and talk about Mm -hmm. you have to be able to handle those whether you're 21 or 31 Mm -hmm. nobody cares right once they pick you number one or they give you a bunch of money they don't care how old you are Mm -hmm. and so I, i don't know all the things that are going on there but i would just bet on his maturity what he's been through. Mm-hmm. I feel like being the face of college football for a couple of years is bigger than being the face of the Jacksonville Jaguars, the magnitude of it and the eyeballs. So I just think he's so well positioned to whatever the good stuff that's going on, whatever the issues they're having, like that's the kind of guy you want to put in there. Not somebody who's going to kind of stir it up or put stuff out in the, in the public, but somebody who's going to internally handle it and develop it. And so I don't know all the stuff that's going on in Jacksonville, but I just, I bet on Trevor that he can kind of like write that ship. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.